I feel that every object has, it, it dictates a, a movement. If you place two rocks on the stage, it will dictate the course of the movement that will happen on the stage. So objects dictate, objects and especially objects designed to, um, designed in space and placed methodically or deliberately will dictate a certain movement. But more than that, I firmly believe that objects have a propensity. They, they radiate a propensity. They radiate an energy. Um, so I'm working on that. I'm working on taking an object and what does the object radiate, the propensity that an object dictates. In this case, I have uh, only chosen two to share with you today because it's a work in progress. Um, uh, we are going to be showing you um, a piece that I have made with my um, um, dancer and student Sudeep on the, the, the bow and the Lakshman Rekha. So the, these are the two, one is an object, one is a signifier that we're working on which we'll be sharing with you today. And the third thing which I would like to share about the object is that uh, being a student of yoga and having studied um, uh, the, um, Patanjali's Yoga Sutras, one thing I'm realizing is that if you begin to contemplate on an object, be it a physical object or, or, a, or a metaphysical object, that object will begin to reveal its story sooner or later. It will begin to reveal itself. And for that you have to kind of observe the object over a long, sustained period. So I'm, I'm very interested in that as well, as to how with sort of sustained observation a thing begins to tell its story. And a thing is not just a thing, it has history inscribed into it.
Thank you. 